Well, greetings, viewers. Thanks for joining me in the shop today. This giant hunk of plastic right here is the inner fender liner for the LS400. I showed you in a previous video that it was rubbing right here, um, and I was going to need to tuck the wires so if it ever got worse, I didn't have any problem. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. Just to note where it rubs is between these two fastener holes on the fender. Use that for reference when you get back over to the car. There's 25 fasteners that you have to remove to get that piece off. Uh, 24 actually, I took one extra one out and removed that completely, but regardless. Uh, you'll need a 10 millimeter. You can also use your impact on most, but one you can only get with the ratchet. You need a four millimeter Allen key for one fastener only. You need a Phillips screwdriver. You got some weird grommets. You got this one weird plastic fastener that goes in here. So just make sure you pay attention to where they come out from because there's one longer screw. Anyway, a little, a little weird. Now I donned my face mask here and my drill. I got under here and you can see this white plastic jobby here and then this one here. That's what the harness was in. It ran right along this plastic piece right here it was taped to it and that is right in between this hole and this hole on the fender uh, on that liner where we showed for reference so you can see if you can get them both in there my harness is completely moved now out of the tire way uh, all I had to do was unplug this and get the harness on the other side of this which was super easy unplug it right behind there uh, I drilled three holes and pushed the wire harness over. It doesn't require any modification of the harness. Just push it over. I've zip tied it up so it can stay. I've tugged and pulled on it. It doesn't matter if it falls down on that end or this end because it's in the center where it's most important. I was thinking about putting a little bracket or something there, but I think this will work. So I'm going to put this back together with confidence. I will show the other side when I get to the other side because I think it's a bigger harness. But uh, yeah, anyway, I think this is necessary for my LS400 with the two inch static lift because when I get to the other side and take that fender, inner fender thingy off, uh, you'll see where it's got a hole actually rubbed in it. So I don't want to blind you with that light, but let me get to the other side and I'll show you some more. And I straight piped it too. Um, I'll give you a sound bite at the end. Keeping with my rat rod luxury car theme, I uh, use an old rusty drive shaft for my exhaust tip. I think it's bitching. I've not gotten the same response from some of the people who've seen it, but I'll move on to that here in a minute. Okay, now over here on the other side, basically, same thing. There's one year bolt spots there's the other so it's this area in here that needs to be clear and that is the hood latch uh, cable and it tucks up in that little valley I don't see that being a problem plenty of excess wire on this side too to pull that over and put it up there I think maybe I might consider modifying brackets and putting them in there to keep that up instead of zip tying it but I really think that's gonna work so same basic principle unclip it from those two you also have your um, washer hose over here so I've run it out here too because I don't want to lose my window washers but basically same program for over here same amount of fasteners. Uh, I did discover you don't have to remove this little wing at all. Our little air thing on the bottom and that'll save you three fasteners. Gonna go ahead and do the oil change while I'm under here and got half of the skid plate off anyway. It's doing a couple hundred miles. Now I did have uh, did have did see when I was doing my exhaust that my lower links have a little bit of wobble to them. So I looked up links, looks like it's cheaper to buy aftermarket than it is to buy 
Lexus ones, and I can't hardly find them at any other place that shows them um, like an off-brand or something. So I don't know what it is about it. I removed these black trim pieces a while back to get a better look at this rust. Uh, I got some rust there. I got a little rust up in that corner right above the plastic part. Walk around and show that. This one's coming back. Started sanding it off and ground that edge. I'm just going to let it come back and embrace the rust. It goes with my uh, rat rod luxury car theme. That spot's coming back. Another one on the same spot over there. Really nothing underneath. It's not like rotting or dangerous or falling apart. Just got a little rust on the body. Got a little bit there and this dent. Just going to embrace that rust as it comes back. And uh, screw it. I'm not fixing it. I'm, I'm hood rat rotting it out. And it makes me very happy to do so. So hang on just a minute. I'm going to do a little sound bite for you and let you hear what my straight pipe sounds like. See my fancy exhaust tip that I made. Uh, go ahead and hate. So there you have it, like it or don't, that's what I've done so far. I couldn't be happier, very well pleased. Yeah, so getting ready to do the oil change, then I'll be moving on to the tune-up and the timing belt somewhere in the next 5,000 miles, but that could be next spring for all I know. Uh, when I do get around to getting all my fluid film and fluid filming everything, I think uh, most people know about that, but I will probably show a little thing about that anyway. So put this back together, change it all, done for the day. Appreciate y'all coming and checking it out. Like and subscribe if you want to do that. Check links in the description if you want to do that. Buy t-shirts at my Etsy store and things like that. So appreciate y'all. Have a great day.